What's up everyone, um, today we're gonna be going on a tangent about, uh, let's just say the cooler and better variants of LEGO Blasters. LEGO first came out with the, uh, what I call the default droid weapon, which are these weird doohickeys, I just got a, found a bunch of them out, so I got one with like a missile in the end. Um, these were the first ever guns technically that the Imperials used, the Stormtroopers, I think in the, um, I think we first saw them with these as well in the uh, shuttle, uh, the Imperial, the Empire shuttle or something, or the little sets. I don't remember exactly what set it was. I definitely know these were the first ever versions of weapons. Then we got the, sorry for the giant fan noise. I have a fan right on. Um, then we got the much better and much more detailed default blasters. Everyone knows and everyone I'm sure loves. These look so goddamn good. Got the blaster. Uh, blaster carbine, blaster rifle, sniper rifles technically as well, and then pistols, and then some random doohickeys there. You got those. And then... And then, you got the stud shooters. I actually don't have any in my room because I do not want them in my room. I do not want to see them because I hate them so much. Give me one sec while I run across the entire house to get to the other room. I keep them in my room where I usually would do videos. I'm only doing it in my room because I I'm, I'm, really can't sleep and I'm tired and I'm hyper. It just isn't, it's not a good mix. You got these little pieces of crap. Everyone hates these. I don't know, I, I genuinely don't know anyone that I've ever talked to who actually thinks these things are useful in any way. Except for little kids who think, oh they're cool because they actually fire. No they're not, they're just, they're annoying. I actually took out all the uh, gray pieces for the only reason is because then you can actually stick them onto the things and they don't go Unless you pop them off yourself. Now, these things I can actually use as, like, grenade launchers, which is what I use them for if I ever use them. And as you can see, they're all just kind of in this Mega Bloks storage crate thing, which really shows you how much I hate them. Anyway, you got those. You got the, um, like I said, you got the uh, Imperial Blasters from the first thing of the droid ones as I call them now the better versions and then you got the shitty things but then you have this guy like I said in the last video I'm not sponsored by him at all I just heavily love his shit that he does I don't know if it's one guy I don't know if it's a whole group I don't know who does it but I'm gonna say whoever does this you keep up your goddamn good work because let me just say you are saving you are saving people lots of energy and time trying to customize stuff like this. He makes Clone Army Customs. I don't know if you know them. If you do, good, because you should buy, definitely buy their stuff. I'm not, like I said, I'm not promoting. Yeah, I'm not sponsored. I don't think I'm ever going to get a sponsor from anyone. I don't really care at this point. I just like making videos. But he makes heavily detailed clone weapons. You got a hand cannon, which I didn't even know was a thing until I started buying these and looking it up. I learned what a hand cannon was from buying these things off the uh, website, uh, Clone Army Customs. I do have a Z6 somewhere in this thing. I have a whole bin full of just gray black ones. I um, mean, black ones. There are no gray ones in here. Um, there's a Z6 somewhere in there. I'm not going to go digging through it. You got a hand cannon. These are just some of the ones I picked up. You got a flamethrower, which looks really good. You got the rocket launcher Mark II or something. Mark, I, I think it's Mark One. This is Mark II or something. I don't really remember that much. You got a commander weapon with the um, grenade uh, attachment on the side, and then you got a mortar. Now these things, this one actually comes apart. You can take it apart. The bottom disc and the two legs. You can take that all apart. As you can see, there's little joints there and there. Those are really good. But if you grab, if you buy a random grab bag full of them. Um, Full of um, English at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry, I had a little bit of a stroke there. Sometimes I do that when I'm not able to English properly. If you buy a random grab bag, one of those like, you buy a bag and you get whatever the hell is in it. I got a few of those. I got some backpacks I did in the other video. You will get random variants. Usually they're all colored and they look amazing. You got chrome, gold chrome, light chrome pink and red i actually really love the red one not only does it make it look janky as hell and weird and exotic but for something like this it makes it look like it heavily overheated um i actually really want to get one 
in the uh, rocket style like this that's red so it looks like it overheated from firing too many rockets um i also want to get one in like this but i haven't like had the time to actually go back on the website and buy more i'm probably not gonna for a while but yeah i got all these from random grab bags they're like five bucks a pop they're really cheap they're very worth it if you want some very weird wacky colors i actually like to use some of the um some of these colors like the pink guns with the uh pink backpacks because i like to make my own little squadron sometimes um but yeah i would heavily say definitely go check them out um like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but I will say you should definitely buy some Clone Army Customs shit because they're worth it. I'll be doing a video on Clone Army Customs helmets. Those are a little bit, I personally think, no offense to the creator, but I will say that there's a little bit of a downgrade due to the fact that there's a bit of things with it. I will show you that, and I will show you some my collection of um, attachments, which I'll do in the, another video. So, have a good time. I will see you guys later.